This week's art lesson is about imagination. What do you use your imagination for? Our learning goal is to use your imagination to create art about your home or your community. We are going to read a story about Mr. Plumbean. And in the story, we will learn how he uses his imagination to create his dream house. The Big Orange Spot by Daniel Manis Pinkwater. Mr. Plumbean lived on a street where all the houses were the same. He liked it that way. So did everybody else on Mr. Plumbean's street. This is a neat street, they would say. Then one day, a seagull flew over Mr. Plumbean's house. He was carrying a can of bright orange paint. No one knows why. And he dropped the can, no one knows why, right over Mr. Plumbean's house. It made a big orange splot on Mr. Plumbean's house. Oh, too bad, everyone said. Mr. Plumbean will have to paint his house again. I suppose I will, said Mr. Plumbean, but he didn't paint his house right away. He looked at the big orange spot for a long time. Then he went about his business. The neighbors got tired of seeing that big orange spot. Someone said, Mr. Plumbean, we wish you'd get around to painting your house. Okay, said Mr. Plumbean. He got some blue paint and some white paint, and that night he got busy. He painted at night because it was cooler. When the paint was gone, the roof was blue. The walls were white, and the big orange spot was still there. Then he got some more paint. He got red paint, yellow paint, green paint, and purple paint. In the morning, the other people on the street came out of their house. Their houses were all the same, but Mr. Plumbean's house was like a rainbow. It was like a jungle. It was like an explosion. There was a big orange splot, and there were little orange splots. There were stripes. There were pictures of elephants and lions and pretty girls and steam shovels. The people said, Plumbean has popped his cork, flipped his wig, blown his stack, and dropped his stopper. They went away muttering. That day, Mr. Plumbean bought carpenter's tools. And that night, he built a tower on top of his roof, and he painted a clock on the tower. The next day, the people said, Plumbean has gushed his mush, lost his marbles, and slipped his hauser. They decided they would pretend not to notice. That very night, Mr. Plumbean got a truck full of green things. He planted palm trees, baobabs, thorn bushes, onions, and frangipani. In the morning, he bought a hammock and an alligator. When the other people came out of their houses, they saw Mr. Plumbing swinging in a hammock between two palm trees. They saw an alligator lying on the grass. Mr. Plumbing was drinking lemonade. Plumbing has gone too far. This used to be a neat street. Plumbean, what have you done to your house? The people shouted. My house is me, and I am it. My house is where I like to be, and it looks like all my dreams, Mr. Plumbean said. The people went away. They asked the man who lived next door to Mr. Plumbean to go and have a talk with him. Tell him that we all liked it here before he changed his house. Tell him that his house has to be the same as ours, so we can have a neat street. The man went to see Mr. Plumbean that evening. They sat under the palm trees drinking lemonade and talking all night long. Early the next morning, the man went out to get lumber and rope and nails and paint. When the people came out of their houses, they saw a red and yellow ship next door to the house of Mr. Plumbean. What have you done to your house? they shouted at the man. My house is me, and I am it. My house is where I like to be, 
and it looks like all my dreams, said the man, who had always loved ships. He is just like Plumbean, the people said. He's got bees in his bonnet, bats in his belfry, and knots in his noodle. Then one by one they went to see Mr. Plumbean, late at night. They would sit under the palm trees and drink lemonade and talk about their dreams. And whenever anybody mis visited Mr. Plumbean's house, the very next day that person would set about changing his own house to fit his dreams. Whenever a stranger came to the street of Mr. Plumbean and his neighbors, the stranger would say, this is not a neat street. Then all the people would say, our street is us and we are it. Our street is where we like to be and it looks like all our dreams. I want you to think about the story and how we can be inspired by Mr. Plumbean. In the end, the whole community used their imaginations to make their dream home. This week's art assignment, you will create an artwork using your imagination. And I would like you to think about your home or your community. Here are three options, or you can use your own idea. Draw your dream house with detail and color. Draw important people or places from your community. Or create a three-dimensional house using Legos or recycled materials or any other materials you have at home. Let's go over some common questions that I receive. Can I do my drawing in Seesaw? Yes, you can use Seesaw or any other technology for your work. What if I have a different idea? Well, if your idea is using your imagination, then great, go with it. Can my house be anything I want? Of course, I would love you to create your house into any of your interests. Can I use a different art material such as paints? You can use any materials you have at home. And how do I hand in my work? Be sure to be handing in and submitting a picture of your work to Seesaw.